Okay, the pushback has been complete and uh, the pushback truck is about to detach from the aircraft uh, and we are uh, ready to start uh, the engine uh, number two in sequence. Uh, so the engine number two is uh, clear and uh, let's start. So we move the engine start lever into the ground position. We have uh, N2 rotation. We have N1 rotation, so that's good. We are waiting for 25% N2 before moving the engine start lever into the idle position. 25 we have idle and we time. At that point uh, we need to have EGT within one five second. In this situation is okay but let's assume that we have a wet start so the EGT is not rising. If a 15 seconds elapsed then or we manually move the engine start lever back to idle or the EEC is doing it for us. Anyway, if this is gonna happen, what we are going to do next is to call for the aborted engine start non-normal checklist, which is on page 7.1 of the Boeing 737 NGQRH. So let's take it. It says, condition, on the ground an aborted engine start is needed. Objective, to shut down the engine and motor it. So there is one memory item for this uh, non-normal checklist. It says engine start lever affected engine cutoff and we have already done it. Then it says choose one. Engine start switch is in ground. Uh, yeah, it is in ground. So motor the engine for 60 seconds. We are at uh, 1 minute and 20 seconds at the moment. So it's more than enough for the motoring. So the next step in the checklist says engine start switch on the affected engine off. And we put it back to off. End of checklist. Now there is one other option and uh, it would have been uh, in case that the engine start switch was already into the off position. In that case, the non-normal checklist says to go to step 3, which says after N2 decreases below 20%, so we have to look at the N2 below 20%, then engine start switch to ground, motor the engine for 60 seconds, we time it, and then after 60 seconds elapsed, the engine start switch can be moved back to the off position. And that concludes the checklist. This checklist is valid for those Boeing 737NG model which has the off position in the engine start switches. The following page, which is the 7.2, of the Boeing 737 NG QRH is valid for the models that have the auto position in the engine start switches. Well folks, thank you very much for uh, the attention. I hope you found this video enjoyable and interesting and see you to the next uh, episode.